This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hi, I'm Pastor Bob with another brief message of hope. The last message on Monday, I told about how a car accident had changed my life and established my goings. Today I want to speak on He will direct thy path. You know, many today are confused, not sure what they should do. But I want you to know today that God doesn't save us and then just forget us. Doesn't leave us to figure it out on our own and go about hoping that everything turn out okay. No, the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Psalms 37, 23. But in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Be not wise in your own eyes. Lean not unto your own understanding. We must turn to God. And that's exactly what it says here when it says acknowledge God. First thing we need to do is acknowledge Him. It's unfortunate so many people kind of push God aside and not really acknowledge Him. They don't put Him in His proper place. Folks, we need to let God be God. But God loves us and God wants to direct our lives. In Psalms 46.1 it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. But go back to that thought of not to lean, not to lean on our own understanding. And Jeremiah 17.9 tells us why. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. In Psalms 118.8 it says, It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And that certainly includes ourselves. In fact, in Jeremiah 17.5 it says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and who heart departeth from the Lord. And then in verse 7 he goes on to say, Blessed is the man, or that man, that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. So I would challenge you this morning to search the Scriptures. In Psalms 119.105, the Bible says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Proverbs 6.23 says, For the commandment is a lamp. In other words, God expects us to obey His commandments, and when we do that, then we are following what the steps that God placed uh, for us to do. In Psalms 19 says, The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening our eyes. But not only should we acknowledge God, trust God, but we ought to pray and ask God for wisdom. In James chapter 1, verse 5, it says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men, liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toss. So yes, my friend, God wants to direct your path. And God delights when you are following his direction. But we need to pray in faith, and God will show the way. A little song I learned years ago. Why worry when you can pray? Trust Jesus, He'll lead the way. Don't be a doubting Thomas. Rest fully in His promise. Why worry, 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 worry when you can pray? Why don't we just have a prayer? Dear Lord Jesus, I pray today that you will give us direction. Help us to be on that narrow road and follow your path and accomplish your will. With this we ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and thanks for listening.